What are you doing, Bella? She's waiting for me. First shed hunt. I always usually wait until February. Something very calming about the pines though. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a kid. It's kind of nice not having to worry about how much noise I make. Deer hunting is officially over until September. This is the woods behind my stand where I retrieved the doe. She jumped us just on the other side of the bar wire behind my stand. And then that pasture out there is where the buck dropped. So, doing a little searching in here. I know I got a lot of deer that bed down in here. Trying to see if there's any deer that didn't make it through that cold snap. And just kind of getting out and seeing what's out here. Seeing what the woods look like. I hate going through here during hunting season because you don't want to kick the spook all the deer out. The well, number one tip, guys, is just don't go too early. Definitely don't go too early and spook the bucks out that you do have staying on your property. They'll end up going to the neighbor's property and you'll never find their animals. Getting closer to the pasture now. Kind of gridding these woods back here. I got a lot of deer sign. A lot of deer sign. I kind of hit this place probably about mid-February, right around Bella's birthday, right around Valentine's Day. And I didn't hit it too hard. Bella was dying to get back out in the woods. Hunting season had closed. And uh, I decided to take her for a walk and start looking. But I didn't want to spook the deer. That's the number one thing, guys. You don't want to get out too close. You're going to hear on social media and all your buddies, oh, going to be an early season for sheds. That's just not true guys you know early season sh for sheds sheds happen always about the same time when the days start getting longer you know you're going to get some early sheds you're going to find from a stressed out buck or dead heads and dead sheds you know what i mean but uh you're definitely they're usually about the same time every year so i don't want to spook any buck that's living out here when it comes to the farm here where i actually hunt finding sheds you know my target bucks that i never got i like to try to see if i can find their antlers or while i'm out here i'm actually scouting for the next uh, hunting season. But just remember guys, you definitely don't want to go too early and spook the bucks out onto someone else's property and then they end up finding your antler sheds that you've been working so hard trying to find. Right here's the signs I'm looking for guys. You know there's buck action. So find their routes, you know, lead to more antler sheds. See, this is a nice tucked in area, but he's been definitely beating that up. Another sign, they love these evergreens. And deer just love that sticky stuff. Bucks just love them. See, so you beat the heck out of that one. All this thick stuff, you know, they just hide in here and bed down. torn up. Buck been tearing this up. Right in here in his bedroom. All kinds of traffic and trails coming out of it. Definitely found a buck bedroom. Just no antlers yet.
guys, I think I'm on the board for 2019. I almost tripped over it, but it is an antler. Not much. What is that, Bella? What is that? What is that, Bella? What is that? Get it. Get that. I'm trying to train her. What is that, Bella? What is that, Bella? What is that? Let's go take a look at it, guys. Look out, Bella. Look out. This looks pretty fresh. This looks pretty fresh. Not real big. That works for me. At least I'm not skunked here. Let's see if we can't find the other one. Well, we'll take it, guys. A bad little antler. Something to make something out of. All right. At least we made it on the board, guys. Just to kind of give you a size comparison. Being a very big one, and I'm hoping to find the match right here on the trail. You can see it's pretty beaten down through here, and they're definitely using this. So, uh, we're real close to the farm, and I've been through here before. That goes to show you go back and retrace your tracks. I hear something over here, guys. Might have a deer over here, but uh, let's see what we can find. Looks like we've got some bones over here. I'm going to look over here. So far, I haven't found any dead deer, and that's a great sign. So we don't want that. Definitely looking in food source areas is a number two spot for me. That's all they're thinking about after the rut, putting that weight back on. It's just a beautiful day though. Number three place I like to look is these crossover points where they're hopping over whether it, whether it be a fence, line, into a field where they're grazing or it be ditches creeks little hollers that they got to jump over where they got to hop back up good place to look for antlers another tip guys save your old car hearts when they're all worn out and too beat up to where to work or maybe out out on the town or whatever but you know, you can see this Carhartt is just whooped, but I found that this is the best clothing to protect you with all the briars and the stickers out there that want to cut you up. I can just push right through it like a rhino. Just another tip when you're antler shed hunting. And you can see this one's very beat up, but I'll tell you what, this canvas material definitely gets you through the briars so they don't go through now if you sit on one you I mean it's definitely gonna go bite you in the rear but this works out perfect guys I do I do the bibs with a hoodie stocking cap a lot of times you gotta take your stocking cap off because it's gonna be grabbed by the weeds in the thickets as you're ducking but I found this is the best clothing to wear when you're shedding on car heart baby and coming to the end of winter here they're definitely going on sale. I picked this up, pre-washed uh, Carhartt for 70 bucks. I mean, you really can't beat that. Now that, like I say, this is new, but it was time to upgrade. The other ones, just the zippers were gone and everything else. But definitely looking to saving your old Carhartts or even finding them at a thrift store.